mm-hmm. know, we were just talking about how you were a legend, even by ninth grade, already a legend. Lee is mellow, raucous, tender, and raw. <laughs> Lee is the exciting, believable historian for mid to late 20th century music in America, based in Detroit. But we just talked earlier tonight about how even by ninth grade, before you opened up your store, before you even left your home state of Arkansas and, and moved north, seeking a better life in Michigan here in Detroit, where, we, where we're sitting now tonight as we speak, before all that, you are already a legend. But even before you were born, before your father was born, your grandfather, or before your mother is, is your maternal grandfather, Lee's grandfather had a carriage because he was a preacher. It was leather inside. It had lanterns on the side to light it, one on each side. It was a nice carriage. The leather was really padded. It had pin cushions in there. Right, right. Very rich leather. Very uh, rich. He had a wagon with a horse and a mule and an 80-acre farm. In his garage, he had a rope and chain to bring down the hood of the carriage in the air, or to bring the hood of the carriage in the air into the ceiling. The wagon was uh, like a regular wagon. Uh, you, you could adapt it to different uses, it sounds like, from a carriage to a wagon. When he died, he was 102 years old. Uh, Lee was really young when his grandfather on his mother's side died. Um, his grandfather wore suits and a watch chain hanging out of, his, out, out of the vest. Lee used to shave him and cut his hair every Saturday Amen. because he would go to church on Sunday. He was Lee's mother's grandfather. Oh, I'm sorry, your great-grandfather. Great oh, wow. Uh, right. He, so yeah, that's right. 102 when he died, uh-huh. and you were it quite. It might be a little long. I know it was 100. It might be. <laughs> I have to check the exactly, but I, I think it was 102, and uh, what, um, that side was long jeopardy, and you know, <laughs> like I'm right now, I'm <laughs> the oldest last thing. <laughs> My generation, you know, the oldest one there, you know. So every time I hear Noah jump, that you, Lord. <laughs> I'm hoping you make to 120, Mr. C. Hey, it all depends. You know, if I'm cool, I, I you know, I, I want to be, I don't want to be, you know. I, I, I'm i going to help you. We're going <laughs> to, I'm going to do whatever it takes to. You know, but I'm just saying that, hey, I try to enjoy life, man. It's beautiful. I mean, some people didn't make it. I, I, I feel for them. I never thought I would be here. Like I said, I hear a noise, something fall. Like, That's your Lord. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is it? <laughs> but other than that, you know, I'm cool. I, I, my health is good, you know. Praise I, God. I, my health is good. Okay. We, we, we always ask, we uh-huh. as a row, we, I always ask wisdom for the folks at home, health wisdom, health tips, longevity tips. Uh, w- what do you attribute your... Uh, enviably advanced age to well ages are just a number really i i feel the same thing i like the same thing i ever liked before as much as i ever liked hey nothing changed but my mood yeah <laughs> i mean my my you know because you have to be active man you know and uh so what i do lay around sit around what else is that yeah you go someplace you sit down so I'm, I'm living yeah you know uh, but you know i'm happy not happy, but I'm but, content. Uh, you know, I, I read articles like this all the time. Uh, <laughs> you know, get rid of toxic people in your life. Uh, Did that. Uh, learn to laugh every day uh, or, or, you know, see, see the humor in things. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, stay active or, or stay busy, you, you hear about. Or, 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 you know, you hear funny ones. Like, like there's that, that World War II veteran. He, he was a, a black man down the south, and he'd sit on his porch every day. He's somewhere in like Alabama or something mm-hmm. like that. They named the street after him. And he'd sit down the porch, I think, with a shotgun, just because, just you, know, you know, just for fun. And he'd smoke cigars and drink, like, I think, whiskey all day. Mm-hmm. And he smoked cigars and drank until he was, like, maybe in his 80s or near 90, maybe even. But he made it past 100, I believe. Yeah. Uh, some people just have the the their the edges the t- telomeres of their the, the edges of their DNA strands mm. don't break apart uh, after a certain period of time. Y- you might have aspects of that, or, but but either way, I, I always look to uh, uh, Exodus chapter twenty, the Ten Commandments: mm. uh, honor thy father and mother, mm. so that their so that thy days may be long upon mm. the land. Um, 
that uh, or, or Proverbs, uh, wisdom, her value is far above uh, rubies. Um, uh, kind of the same thing. Uh, uh, looking to your the leaders in your life, I think, mm-hmm. is another the the um, people in authority in your life and respecting them, gi- giving them their due respect. Uh, mm-hmm. Certainly, sometimes people are in the wrong, but you you, you go about tending to it in a, in a. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I'm just that way. I got to be me, but uh, you know, I'm not here to defend nobody. I, I never was. Yeah, but but know. respecting authority and and knowing your place in in the hierarchy of authority is is another, I uh, I think often overlooked. In fact, key to a long life is, is knowing your place in the world and and, and yeah. you, you always max you always made the most of of where you were. Well, you have to Any take situation. care of you, take care of yourself. That's all. Uh, be good to your body. Your body give you back. Uh, don't abuse you. I, yeah. I abuse my body. Everybody does something. You know, no one hundred percent. But I'm just still saying that. Uh, you know, try not to. You know, you can overdo anything. Amen. Do everything in moderation. Put it that way. Yeah. Now, and, do do you have any other memories of your grandfather before we move on? Because he sounds like a fascinating. He was a preacher. Yeah, he was a preacher, and you know, and, and that time in that area, they had settlement about five houses, a radius of so many miles. Which my grandfather had eighty acres down there. I still on there. Still in the family. It's in the family. Man. I don't know anything about it, but I don't. I you know, it's. But anyway, and uh, at least we was better off than a lot of people. A lot of people, well. Before we moved there, we were on the the white man. He said, uh, "What what you call him? Um, sharecropper." Yeah, third generation sharecropper. We were on their property. You yeah. know, he could marry you until you be off my house before sundown. Be off my property before sundown. Yeah. You see, when you live in the rural like that, if they got signed posted and a fence around it, you can't go. You can't cross that man field. That's private property. Under penalty of death, it's they possible. can protect it. Yeah, he's on his property. Yeah, and so that's for the county road. And we talked in school. You stay on the county road, or the state road, or the city property. Man, that's why when I came in public, I'm a guy. Say, who do you think you're talking to? You follow me? And yeah. so uh, nobody can stop you from going on a state highway. Then when you get on the expressway, say you got a wagon, they tell you to put a our vehicle on the expressway has got to have so many horsepower. It got to run. They got stipulation. Yeah. And it's before you go down on the expressway, it tell you that you can't go down there with two wheel bicycle. Yeah. And push it on the side. You, the police gonna pick you up and take you to jail. And shit. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Rules are the rules. Right. And so I'm just still saying, but just to tell somebody to get out of the street because you don't like him because whatever, whatever. You hit me, and I see you. I'm yeah. just saying, you know. Thank mm-hmm. you.